Yo, what's good, man? Prince Sports here. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Now, listen, man. I'm going to talk to you guys. I'm going to talk to you brothers right here. Why is Richard Jefferson out here capping? All right? This guy with a bunch of other guys, I think he's on one of those TV shows that he got. He got to have some TV show where he talk about sports. But I think he was with Kendrick Perkins and a couple other guys. And he said Vince Carter is the most talented basketball player he ever seen. And Vince Car Carter is more talented than LeBron James. Vince Carter, excuse me, Vince Carter is not more talented than LeBron James. I'm sorry, he is not. He is by far probably athletic. Okay, he's up there with the athletic ability with LeBron James because he could jump out the gym. But there's no way, no how, that this guy is more talented than LeBron James. He's not even more talented than Tracy McGrady. Tracy McGrady was more skilled and talented than T Mac. I mean, than um, Vince Carter. Vince Carter was good at jumping real high. He had athletic ability and he had some creativity when it comes to dunks. But he was not like this skillful, great basketball player. He was an athletic player. He was a guy that you get in awe about when he dunks. Okay? That was it. But. Talented? What I Vince Carter? Vince Carter. Air Canada. Vince Carter. Most talented. Richard Jefferson, are you sure about that? Most talented? He more skilled and talented than Kobe Bryant. Is he more skilled and talented than Michael Jordan? He don't got a better skill set than none of these dudes, man. How is he how? Besides being a creativity dunker, a, a great in-game dunker, how is he more talented? Based off what? What is your criteria for saying Vince Carter is more talented than a LeBron James or these other guys? Vince Carter can't pass like LeBron. And LeBron matches him on the athletic ability. So then that pretty much edges LeBron over him. Just the fact that LeBron could pass better than him means LeBron is more talented than him already. That's it. All I need is one mic, like Nas said. In this case, all I need is one. One example. I don't need a bunch of examples. Doesn't need one. That's it. So I don't know what he's talking about when he say that. You guys think of Vince Carter as the most talented player you ever seen? If Vince Carter... If you co-sign what Richard Jefferson is saying, you probably didn't watch basketball. Because you're spitting in the face of all the guys that got talent and got way better skilled than Vince Carter. Vince Carter didn't have the best handles. He didn't have the best jump shot. What he did have was athletic ability. Speed, to a certain extent. But his main thing was the guy could fly. That's why they call him Air Canada. Because he could fly. But he was not better than his own cousin, T-Mac. T-Mac was way better than Vince Carter, especially when he came of age. When both of those guys came of age, Vince Carter was not better than um, Tracy McGrady. All right? He wasn't even more skilled. He wasn't skilled more than Grant Hill neither. Grant Hill had a wicked crossover, a wicked jump shot, could get to the rack. Come on, man. Y'all capping, man. You know, I respect your opinion because it's your opinion, Richard Jefferson. But you, you got no reason to be saying what you're saying. You just said oh, he could do some trick shots in practice. So he's more a talented player for you because he do trick shots in practice. Come on, man. You know, I seen LeBron do trick shots with a football from half court in Hit a half-court shot with a football? Does that count? Come on, man. Richard Jefferson, you out here bugging, man. That's just cap for views. I don't think you even believe that. To me, it just sounds stupid. But what you guys think? Prince Sports out. Peace.